Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this quick video, I wanted to share a few tips for drawing and creating smooth lines in Adobe Photoshop, whether you're using a mouse or a pen tablet, this is gonna help you out. So the first thing we're gonna do is move to the brush tool. So down on the left-hand side here in our toolbar, we'll grab our brush tool, and the first thing we're gonna do is just right-click and make sure we've got our settings set nicely. So I'm gonna set my brush to almost 100% hardness, somewhere between 90 and 100, just that nice kind of sharp edged brush. And then I'm gonna leave my size a little bit larger than this so we can see what it looks like. So when we're drawing with our brush, one thing you may find as you're starting out drawing is that your lines end up being a bit wobbly. So I'm drawing across here, trying to draw a nice straight line and it's not coming out that great. So what you'll also notice is that when you're drawing in different directions, to so up or at an angle, then those lines will be different levels of control that you're kind of comfortable with. So this is the first tip for drawing those straight lines. And that is really to draw the lines as rapidly as possible. Then you'll get this nice straight line and to use the brush in conjunction with the eraser. So I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller here. And I'm also gonna drop down the opacity here. Now you can drop down the opacity by using the slider or we can use the numbers on our keyboard above our alphabet. So I'm gonna type in a four here. You'll see I'll get a 40% opacity. So if I nice and quickly draw a line across there. That one is not very good, but I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep kind of drawing lines across, and you'll notice you'll get this nice sketchy line where the, the line overlaps in different points. And I like to use this method in conjunction with the eraser. So I'm gonna press E now to jump to the eraser. I'm gonna right click and just turn the hardness down a tiny touch. So we've got a little bit of feathering at the edge. And now I'm just gonna erase the edge of my line there, especially where it's kind of gone way off course, but you can see I've also got my eraser set to 80%, or you could even set it down to 60. And that means that we leave a little bit of a shadow of the line there, which I like. So it makes it look a little bit more realistic as we're drawing, and also means we can really fine tune that line. Command and Z is your friend, it means you can quickly undo any mistakes that you get. And you can see there, even when we're drawing this nice horizontal line, we're getting a more interesting kind of sketchy line that we can use. So it may not be super smooth, but we can create that digital line, which we'll look at later on, which will be super smooth, whether it's a curve or a straight line. So quickly to move on to just how to draw a straight line, if we grab the brush tool and click once, hold down shift and click here, it will draw a perfectly straight line. So you can see we can kind of draw from point to point. It leaves a weird doubling up of the line at one end, but we can quickly get rid of that with our eraser if we need to. Okay, so you can get these nice straight lines as you're moving across. So then how do we get those angled lines straight? So sometimes you'll find, I'm just gonna create a new layer here, hide this layer, that when you're trying to draw that same straight line at an angle, it just doesn't work as well. And so there's a quick solution to this, which is to press the R key, and this will allow you to rotate your canvas. So now we can get that angle that we want, a horizontal position, which means we can move across and quickly create that straight line. So you'll find, obviously with more practice, you'll be able to draw lines um, at different angles, kind of more clearly. But here we can then use the eraser to kind of sharpen it up, get a nice line with a little bit of texture at the edge, and then build that up as we're drawing something. So either quickly or slowly, you can kind of build up this texture look for the bits of the line that are starting to look interesting, and then erase along the line, okay? And also obviously we can use the brush and then the shift option to kind of draw those angles as well. And also to go back along those lines to build things up. Although you do get this strange doubling up of some parts of those lines at some point. Okay, let's remove that. So that's my first real tip for drawing the lines, is don't try and be too Perfect with your lines, let the sketchiness happen. Mix your brush with your eraser tool. I'm gonna to press the R key again here and up at the top left, I can reset that view. You can see we're getting some nice sort of different textures in some of those lines and then we can also get those nice straight lines as well. So let's have a look at how to create a perfect circle. So for this, I'm gonna grab my elliptical marquee tool. We'll come down to the elliptical marquee and I'm gonna create a new layer again. Hide those other layers and we are gonna click and hold and holding shift as we're drawing this out, we can make a perfect circle. Now I'm gonna to come to my paths over here and I can turn this ellipse into a path. And now with the path created, 
I can select my brush tool, tap B, and then when I tap the stroke path button down at the bottom here, it's going to stroke that path. So we can make a kind of perfect circle, or if we're wanting to use something like the pen tool, let's just delete this ellipse here. We can come down to our pen tool. I can click, draw any kind of vector shape that I want. I've got my work path here and my paths. I can grab my brush tool and then stroke along that path. And obviously I can vary the thickness of my brush tool. I'm using the square brackets on the keyboard, just to the right of the P key to do that. And you can see I can build up the thickness and texture of that brush. I can also do some cool things here. So if I select the, the path selection tool from across on the left here, I can move this path just a little bit, maybe doing Command and T with the path tool selected, I can rotate it a little, and we can then hit enter and grab our brush tool. So tap B and hit the stroke again, and it's gonna stroke a slightly different curve there. I could even use the eraser tool and stroke that, and it's gonna to start to erase parts of that uh, section as well. So we can erase and build up and also then move our path a little bit. So I'm just using the cursors with that path selection tool selected and we can move back to the brush and then add more strokes in there. So now you can see we end up with our perfect circle. We also, when we delete this, we end up with a path that has some different kind of strokes along that same path line. I'm not a big fan of the like super clean look in Photoshop. I do prefer to kind of get that sketchy, kind of rough look of my lines. But um, if you need to go along a specific shape, then using the path tool can be useful, particularly if you're drawing something perhaps like this truck. You can see you could use that path tool in different spots to kind of get the edge of the vehicle or different parts of the car. And I've mixed the sketchiness here with some of the different tools that we're talking about here. We'll look at one last thing, and that is the smoothing option for our brushes. So within our brush tool themselves, if we press B, we can actually come up to window and brush settings. And down here at the bottom, we have some smoothing options. So basically this is gonna smooth my brush by 100%. And I know a lot of people don't like to use this tool because the brush doesn't move as you're drawing. It kind of follows your cursor so i increase the size of my brush here and we'll just make it 80 percent so you can see my mouse is just way ahead of the brush but it is smoothing it quite nicely so that tool takes a little bit of time to get used to but it will make that kind of nice smooth brush as well and there's some different options for the smoothing up here too so we've got this pulled string mode where it's working a different way and and you can create some interesting smooth lines with these as well. So you can see we've got the catch up stroke end mode. And again, smooth lines in Photoshop, but just with a different way of working. And we can control the amount of smoothing that we have on our brushes. So if you still want some kind of texture in your brushes, you can turn the smoothing down and have a less smooth option. But this is a nice way of getting those really smooth edges. So from the sketchy lines using the eraser through to some of our lines that we draw along paths and then also using the smooth tool, we can get some nice basic control over those different brush lines that we're drawing in Photoshop, particularly like using the opacity and the eraser to kind of build up that drawing and get that nice texture that you can see in the lines that I'm getting here for the drawing of this, this truck here. So I'm tracing it from the truck um, and I've just used some adjustment layers here to actually kind of mute the truck here. So I've used a levels adjustment layer and then a tint, my hue saturation adjustment layer, so that I can draw over the top of it but still have the, the kind of nice line showing through and then I can turn on and off this white layer to kind of see the drawing on its own. So hopefully some useful tips there if you're looking at creating smooth lines in Adobe Photoshop. If you have any questions about this, then please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.